It is important to note that this is one of many installation applications. This is a remodeling application which is most common. The recommended tools to complete the install are a drill, screw gun, hammer, rubber mallet, utility knife, square, level, caulking gun, quick clamp, brad nailer, spray foam, 3 inch zinc screws, 1 and a half inch stainless screws, tape measure, and glass cleaner. Before preparing the opening, it is a good idea to measure the opening size, width and height, and also wall thickness. The opening should be a quarter to half inch bigger than the actual garden window. Double check to ensure the garden window unit is at least a quarter inch to a half inch smaller than the opening being installed in. This sticker is applied to all remodeling garden window units. It is suggested by the manufacturer to install this unit to the quarter inch line indicated by the sticker. Note. Remove sticker prior to installing the unit. To properly prepare the opening, it is recommended to replace and or remove any damaged wood or dried up caulking at this point in time and reseal. Smooth out sealant to assure all gaps and joints are filled properly. This will help prevent from future leaks. Prior to installing, we elected to pre-drill and countersink the holes for fastening the unit into the opening. When setting the unit into the opening, allow a quarter inch behind the hinge. When installing the unit, align the interior of the jam with the wall surface. Use shims where necessary to ensure the unit is level and plumb. Install 3 inch screws into the seat head and jams to secure the unit into the opening. Upon completion, use level to verify the unit is plumb level and square. The manufacturer suggests using spray foam to fill voids between the unit and the opening. Fill all gaps along the sides, top and bottom, both on the interior and exterior. Allow the foam to dry before moving to the next step. If the unit you purchased has an insole board, use inch and a half stainless steel screws when installing. Run the screws through the vinyl cover into the bottom of the seat board. Then caulk in between the unit and the insulation board. Once complete, caulk between the insulation board and the house. Once the foam is dried, it is necessary to seal over the dried foam insulation on the top, bottom, and both sides. Use a waterproof sealant to ensure the unit is airtight and watertight. Smooth out the silicone to ensure the unit appears neat and all voids and gaps are filled appropriately. Once the install is completed and the silicone is dry, it is recommended by the manufacturer to seal all natural wood surfaces and trim according to the homeowner's preference.